Hello Zickers, welcome back to another video. And we've got some exciting news that's going to take your eBay business just to the next level. And if you're serious about getting ahead of your competition, you'll want to stick around for this, I promise. Zick Analytics just rolled out some powerful updates to the competitor research tool, making it even easier for you to find winning products, track your competitors and supercharge your profits. It's crazy, sounds amazing, right? well because it is so let's check it out together i hope you are as excited as i am before i jump into my screen what's new so you probably ask yourself what are the recent updates well let's break down what's new supplier insights instantly spot your competitor suppliers with a new logo next to the drop shipping logo multi time frame comparison you view 30 14 and 7 day sales data all in one screen for effortless trend tracking. Also, revenue per item, so you can quickly see which products generate the most revenue to prioritize your top sellers. Then you have streamlined management. So basically, you manage search history, waiting list, and watch list from one simple dashboard. Also, fifth, updated terminology. Revenue now replaces sales earnings for clear financial insights. All right, so why these updates are game changers, you might ask. These updates are designed to give eBay sellers like you a major edge. Whether you're a beginner or an expert, you will now have deeper insights into your competitors' strategies, from the suppliers they rely on to their most lucrative products. With all your data in one place, managing your research and keeping an eye on trends has never been easier. If you want to stay ahead of the curve and make smarter decisions, faster decisions for your eBay business, these updates to the competitor research tool are going to be your secret weapon. So let's see how it works. Enough talking, Rogerio. Let's jump into my screen here, okay? Let's take a look at this eBay seller right here. First, I will check the seller ID so I can scan this seller right here using Zig Analytics. And I'm just gonna click on the seller's current name, which is Alpha Deals One. And then I'm gonna click on the About section to look for seller right here. Now I see that the ID of the seller is actually beauty underscore store one, 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 one. So this is the ID that I will need to scan the seller. So I'll just copy this ID right here like this. And then I'm going to scan into Zix competitor research. And with the new updates, we can right away see some differences compared to our older version of the competitor research tool. Here we can see on the top left if they are drop shipping or not. And in this case, we can see that he's drop shipping from Walmart and Amazon and that he's selling to the US. Look at this, right? You can see here in the logo. Now you see here on the top right, this part, you can choose the sales date range just like before. But with the new update, you can now choose to see your preferred sales date range all at once in one screen. Let me show you how. Here we can choose all these sales date range, right? Let's say I just want seven and 14 days, for example. I can even add 30 days here like this. When we apply filters, as you can see now, we can have all the information at the same time without having to go back and change dates as we need it. And this is extremely useful because you don't need to switch the sales date range multiple times. With one click, you're set up and you can easily determine if the seller sales are consistent or if they came from a sales hype. As you can see here, we can see all these different date ranges automatically. Now, another update was here on the top right corner. We've also adopted the industry standard in terms revenue to replace sales earnings. So it's easier to understand your financial insights. Now, if you're ready to take your eBay store to the next level, make sure to subscribe for more insightful tips and tricks, my friends. And don't forget to comment below with your thoughts on this new updates or any questions that you have. Honestly, I would just love to hear from you so you can write anything. 
<laughs> All right, so let's just make use of these new updates and find some products to sell. I prefer to begin by setting the search to focus on products with at least two or even like four sales in the last 14 days. But for this example, I'm gonna place two sales in the last 14 days like this because this automatically filters the products that meet these criteria, saving you time and eliminating the need for manual searching for specific metrics that we're looking for. So these are the results. Since we know that the seller is a drop shipper and we also know which suppliers he's using, we will choose a product sold by the competitor and find the same or similar item on Amazon or Walmart. Let's just find our product. Since we have filtered by a minimum of two sales in 14 days, there will probably less products to choose from as in this case which is good okay so for this example like let's go with these halloween orange string lights because this was also recently uploaded and already sold like two times in the last 14 days and it's selling for 31 dollars and 99 cents and has only five competitors but look at all the other products available here you can do it yourself, this research, and find these products. You have everything in your hand. This product seems very interesting. It seems like it's a complete catch because this item can sell well also during the approaching Halloween season. Now, for us to search the product on our supplier, we would have to be sure that our settings on Zik Analytics are also correct. So let's quickly check. Here on the left bottom corner on Quick Settings, choose our settings accordingly. In this case, I want to choose source website from amazon.com and shipping location USA. And once that is done, we can see that the item finder on Zix saves you time and automatically shows that it was able to find the exact product on Amazon. We're clicking here on the item finder and we can see right away that we expect a profit of $7.86. That was so easy. Check it out on the supplier's website right here. We just click on it like this and it will directly take us to Amazon. And look at this, my friends. It's amazing. Well, just a quick recap right here. Our competitor was selling the product for $31.99. We found the exact same item for normally $19.99. But right now we have a prime big deal campaign and you can buy it for $15.99, 20% off my friends. Did you guys see how easy that was? It's amazing. We found a seller that has good products. So we will want to come back later to check on how he's doing and snipe more products or even product ideas from this seller. Okay, so it's always good to save your competitors to your personal watch list. And for you to save the competitor to your watch list, you will need to click right here on add to watch list and then write something like good competitor Amazon. And then you can basically just write any comment for you to remember the type of competitor, right? Or where he's drop shipping from. That's completely up to you. All right, so it's saved like this and Zeke always had a watch list that you could save your competitors and keep checking it on a regular basis. But it was one tool of its own here on the left column, okay? Now, with the new improvements, Zik combined search history, waiting list, and watch list management into one dashboard. So you can easily find and track top performing competitors in one place. Now you can see search date, feedback, active listings, sales 30 day, revenue 30 days. With these new updates, you will virtually eliminate any wasted time on product research. Every second counts when running a business and staying focused is key. Constantly switching between pages disrupts your concentration, but with everything in one place, it makes the process smoother. And honestly, just feels great. Comes down to that. <laughs> Okay, now that we've actually found the competitor and the product that we want, you might ask, but why would the buyer choose my product over his? Well, that's a very good question. We'll have to make a title very similar to our competitor, but not the same, okay? Because eBay's algorithm called Cassini does not promote listings that copy exact titles from other competitors. And this can reduce the product's exposure to buyers. And that's why we'll have to change it just a little bit and make sure that's rich with keywords 
proven to convert. And the reason for us not to create a whole new title for this item is because this seller already proved to us that buyers are searching for the keywords that he used. So we don't have to invent the wheel here. We just have to make our title better, but still on the same search terms as him. And once we have the title figured out, we will then have to take a look at the price. Now, imagine this. From the buyer's point of view, you have two products that are exactly the same, okay? But one is 30 or 50 cents cheaper. Which one would you pick as a buyer? Probably the cheaper one, right? So what I'm trying to say is that when setting your prices, it's important to strike a balance. You don't want to sacrifice too much profit and you definitely don't want to trigger a race to the bottom. So pricing your item just 30 cents below your competitor's price is often enough to attract buyers without cutting too deep into your margins. And then after that, you can use, for example, ChatGPT to make a better description for the product description. It's quite straightforward. And if you follow these tips, I am confident that you will see remarkable results. To wrap it up, by using this method, you can effortless fill your store with winning products backed by real solid data from other successful eBay sellers. Not only you know you will save tons of time on product research, but it will ensure that you're making data-driven decisions that give you a competitive edge. Start applying these strategies, watch your store thrive with high performing profitable items my friends thank you so much for watching this video until the end and remember if you found this video helpful like it subscribe to our channel and listen keep moving forward and see you next time